this is the future we're moving to with the Internet of Things, with, with drones that will be contracted out, that will earn income, with fridges that will be able to spend money and buy your groceries for you, with a self-driving car that will be part of the sharing economy that will both spend money and earn money. I don't know what the IRS is going to do with this, but we'll leave that for another discussion. But we cannot have the same technology or the same rules and regulations around identifying a customer to open a bank account that we do today. It's impossible. We are going to this future. So what's the most viable technology we have today that can explain this? Well, of course, technologies like distributed ledgers, the blockchain, these sorts of things could handle this, not the way we have bank accounts today. Now, you might say, OK, I don't want to be in that business. It's too risky for me. I can't have an account that's not KYC'd with an individual. But keep in mind, this is not 30 years away. This is in 10 years' time that this is going to be happening. That's about the same amount of time that we've had the iPhone. In that period of time, the banking system is going to have to adapt. Now, is it likely? that your banks and the regulators are going to fix this problem in 10 years? Probably not. So what's probably going to happen is blockchain companies that are startups will fix this problem first. And then at some point, regulators will say, well, self-driving cars, they need a wallet, so we, we can't stop that. that it, it doesn't make any sense to stop that or regulate that in the same way we do bank accounts, so regulation will change to adapt. This is the future we're going to. It's a radically different one, but it's coming very, very quickly.